This question is, describe the inheritance of ABO blood groups, which is worth a total of nine marks. And it's a complicated question, but a complicated question that does have easy marks attached to it. Now, the first thing you have to do is talk about the inheritance, the mode of inheritance. How do ABO blood groups get transferred from father and mother to children? And it's via genes, so they're genetically inherited. One gene is inherited from the mother, and the other gene is inherited from the father. And this should be basic genetics that you should all know. Now we get down to the specifics of the ABO blood group genetics itself. And there are two things that you need to remember. Firstly, it's an example of co-dominance. And secondly, it's an example of multiple alleles. Let's talk about multiple alleles first. There are actually three different alleles for determining the ABO blood groups. And we're going to call them capital I with a little a at the, at the top, capital IB and I. And this question, I'm not going to go through the fundamentals of this question. You should know the theory, but I am going to tell you about what to write. And these combination of alleles, a combination of any or two of those alleles, will, will produce a particular ABO blood group or a particular phenotype. So now we say, now we can state that this is an example of multiple alleles. And then we can also talk about the codominance. So remember when we're talking about ABO blood groups that there are two important things about it. Firstly, is is multiple alleles. Secondly, codominance. Multiple alleles, codominance. So IA and IB are codominant, and what this means is that if they are together, then both of them have an effect on the phenotype. So we have an AB blood group. No allele IA or IB overrides each other if they're just those two together. Now, given that those are, they are codominant, they are dominant over little i. So say, for example, if we had an individual who had a genotype of IA and I, then we would, they would have a phenotype that would have a blood group of A. The little i would be ignored. And it's only when you have little i, little i together that you get an O blood group. And the, the next few marks are relatively easy to get. All you need to describe is how you get particular blood groups. Think genotype, think phenotype. Think phenotype, and how do you get a particular phenotype? Let's talk about A blood group. So how do you get an A blood group? Well, there are two possibilities. Firstly, you can get IA, IA, homozygous, or you can get IA, little i. And then go through that for B blood group, AB blood group, and O blood group. And that's how you get those easy marks. Now, the final mark that I wanted to talk about was the example. So I'm a big proponent of every time that you have an opportunity to explain a particular concept, do you want to give an example as well. In this case, I've given a cross. II, crossing with IB, IA. And at the very bottom, you've got um, the resulting phenotype ratios. And that's how I did it.